I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on solution chemistry, Raoult's Law. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author and creator of the Dr. Destroyer book and the Orgo Man products. I want to go over a problem with you on Raoult's Law. This is a law that students tend never to remember, and I think it's an important type of question that can definitely appear on the deck. We want to remember when we have colligative properties, there's four main ones we need to know. And that's going to involve boiling point, elevation, osmotic pressure, freezing point, as well as vapor pressure. So these are the four main things that we want to concentrate on. And let's do one involving Raoult's Law, which is going to involve the vapor pressure. So come around and let's have a look. I say to you, at 50 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of water is given as 92.5 torr. Now, before we go on any further, a good bet for the dad is for you to understand that if the boiling point of something is high, the vapor pressure is low. Never forget that. All right, back to our problem. 50 degrees, we have the vapor pressure of water is 92.5 torr. What is the vapor pressure of a 1.0 molal solution of a non-volatile solute in water at this temperature? Well, before we do anything, whenever you place a non-volatile solute, the boiling point's going to go up, osmotic pressure goes up, the freezing point goes down, and the vapor pressure goes down. So if we ever had to guess, we're going to guess at a number a little tiny bit below 92.5 torr. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to write Raoult's Law which says P prime equals P2 PT times X of solvent. P prime is going to be the vapor pressure of the solvent over a solution. PT is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. So you can see the vapor pressure of the pure water was 92.5, so that's going to be my PT. And X stands for mole fraction. Now, what does 1.0 molal mean? It means there's one mole in a kilogram of water or a thousand grams of water. Now, what I'm going to do is to take a thousand grams and convert it into moles because I need to get the mole fraction of the water because that's the solvent. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick that I teach my students. I want you to never forget that a thousand divided by 18 is 55.5. That is a calculation that just comes in handy. Just the way you would know 0821 times 273 when you do gas laws is 22.4. Now you can do that at blitzing speed. I want you to never forget 1,000 over 18 is 55.5. All right, write the formula. P prime, that's the vapor pressure of the solvent over the solution is PT, X of solvent. We know the pure water is 92.5. Now the mole fraction would be the moles of the water, which is 55.5, divided by the total moles, which we have 55.5 moles, plus we add one mole of the solute would give me 56.5. Now I'm hoping you can see that this is very, very close to one, a little bit less, 0.9 and change, so that means that this number is just a tad bit under the 92.5 mark. So it's around 91. On the dad, you wouldn't have anything close to that value. I hope this gives you a good idea of how to do Raoul's Law. We have a couple of more of these questions in the new issue of the Dad Destroyer book. Okay, good day to you. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.